do not have time for another one of your hunts, Master Dwarf. Ah, but this is your hunt, Captain. There's a pack of war chiefs just arrived in Noorn, call themselves Beastmasters. That does sound like my kind of prey. What do I need to know? I know you're familiar with the Cargors. I taught you everything you know about them. But let me tell you about their cousins from Torvin. What of the war chiefs? You didn't bring me here just to hunt another wild cat, did you? Just to hunt another. Pay attention, Captain. These Karagaths are a silent, stealthy breed from beyond Noon. And they can sneak up on just about anything. And what's worse, this new beast tamer has been burning the brushlands to the north. He means to capture them. Break their will. Twist them into Sauron's war machine. Every war chief is a scourge upon this land. Beastmaster or no, I will end them. Whoa, slow down. First thing we need to do is foil their plans. And I see no better way of doing that than using the very same Karagas against this orcish scum. Show me how to find one of these creatures then. <laughs> Gladly, Captain. There's a Karagath hiding in those bushes. There it is. Go get it. Ah, this beast does look useful. You say, 
That was your shit. You had to survive an attack from the Grey Walker himself. <laughs> to ensure the Uruk never tamed the Karagas. The war chief, the beast tamer. Aye, that unnatural fiend needs to be put down. To draw him out, use the Karagas against his war camp. The more Uruk that die by their shadowy bite, the better. I will not let the Uryks exert mastery over these Karagaths. They are too dangerous. death and destruction. Scavengers are running amok, just hordes upon hordes of filthy ghouls. Filthy ghouls? I thought all of Mordor's creatures were majestic in their own way. Majestic? Ghouls? Now you stop right there, Captain. They are an aberration. Those filthy little mongrels, hiding underground with their beady eyes, gnawing and biting and scratching and... <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd have thought you'd see eye to eye with the little creatures. Are you... Are you comparing me with a ghoul? Oh, I'm glad this plague of ankle biters makes you laugh! Their numbers are growing out of control! They'll overrun all of Nurn! Well, you do have a point. So how can we curb this disease? There's only one way. We need to drag their vile queens from their nests and cut them down. A ghoul hive without a matron is like a meal without ale. Useless! No matron. Aye, not this time. Keep rustling their mounds. Matrons will come, I promise you. The crowds were making a lot of noise earlier. Something got them spooked.
so useless. Useless when they're alive, and useless when they're dead. <laughs> in ghoul filth. I see now why Torven kept his distance. Italian, you still haven't matched me for ghouls killed in a single afternoon. <laughs> for once it is I who has come up short. I'll give you that one, Ranger. But killing this next war chief is going to be a tall order. You see, he rides upon a Graug. You'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. If these ghouls were ever to become more organized, all of Nuren would be infested in short order. Sending out extermination parties. They're wiping out every creature they can find. They're brutal killers, a lot of them. An ambitious war chief with a well trained army. Sounds like a challenge. But if you've told me anything, Master Dwarf, except a hunt can always turn against you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that mind of yours, Captain. But you've painted the hook now. Come on, out with it. I will bring a Graub to bear against their forces. I will show them Mordor cannot be tamed. Now that's a plan! Not very military, though, is it? You've been spending a bit too much time with me. But there's... Uh, one little problem you should know about. Despite all expectations, your problems are rarely ever little, Torben. Yes, well, and this shouldn't surprise you. These troops have already taken down a Graug. Or three? You'll need to lure out a rare, wretched Graug. 
and disgusting relative who's adapted to the poison from all the ghouls they eat. Wretched Grog. Isn't that a bit redundant? I'm not sure what redundant is, but if it means poisonous, then yes, they are extremely redundant. All right, Master Dwarf. Show me how to lure these creatures out, and I will do the rest. Just a few scouts tangling with those ghouls. They should make easy prey. Put up your blades, murderers! Your savagery comes to an end this day! This is in our first advantage. We always travel to the match. Looks like we may need some help after all. Time to put your plans to work, Captain! may have lost his ranging parties, but as long as he remains safe in his stronghold, he'll train more of those killers. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs> fear the monstrosities of Mordor, and must kill the Butcher and keep the Orcs afraid. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, Fort Torven. But could you spare a moment to explain what this is all about? We've got a big problem, Talion. A very big problem. I've never known you to think anything was little, Master Dwarf. Now is not the time for jokes, Ranger. My camp was ransacked. Pilfering Uruks made off with all my blasting powder. I'm a brother's axe. The Uruks have your explosive powder? How did this happen? F -f Forget about that. Didn't you hear what I said? They took my brother's axe. We'll get your axe. But I'm more concerned about the Uruks with the explosives. Do you even know how the powder works? All I know is that if you put a spark to it, exciting things happen. Surely you remember when we first met. His war chiefs may study it, learn how to make more. We must get it back before that can happen. The track split up here. You follow them to the north. I'll hunt the bastards to the south. Find them quickly, Ranger, before they can hide their new treasures. There's no time to spare. I must ride this scum down as fast as I can. I have the These must have moved that bounty elsewhere. You know what I reckon? I reckon I reckon. I need to make haste. These thieves must be stopped at all costs. Good news, Ranger! I found the damned Uruk running off with my brother's axe! A small victory. There's no trace of the blasting powder anywhere. Something that valuable, only the smuggler could deliver it to his dark master. It's better blown up and wasted than in their hands. You'll have to track down his couriers and destroy them along with their cargo. Then was fine. Didn't kill the smuggler and his ilk. The blasting powder cannot fall into Sauron's hands. against his war cow. The more Uru can die by their shadowy bite, the better. The tower's dead, and the Grey Walker. Most are underestimated you.
escapee is a bad escapee. It should be rounded up and slaughtered! <laughs> <laughs> Taylor is dead, and with him, the Uruk's control of the shadowy creatures. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs> Thank you. 
doesn't make you a better hunter than me. This should put an end to the Butcher's extermination parties. Let the Uruks suffer the ravages of nature. Blasting powder. They will wreak unknown havoc. powder could even make short work of the walls of Minas Ethel. An almighty blaze! The 
The smuggler is dead, and the blasting powder destroyed. Who knows what catastrophes I've averted this day. You're weak! Powerless and already! with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. Stop me! No! My... Me 
Managed to tame a grog. I hope I have put a permanent end to such an alliance. Down, dwarf. What are you ranting about this time? The last of these new war chiefs. He's a, he's a ghoul keeper. And somehow he's controlling the little bastards. Worse, actually, I think he's friends with them. Controlling them? An Uruk commanding a ghoul army? Aye, it's so, so dirty. What can be done? The ghouls are endless. We can't kill them all. No, but, uh, oh. Shudder to see it. Hate to even think it. But uh, maybe. Um... Come on, out with it then. Well, it's just that your power. You seem to be able to control everything. Uruks, Karagors, Graugs. Could you control the little scavengers too? <laughs> Control the ghouls as well. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Well, if by hypocritical you mean brilliant, then yes, it's very hypocritical. Look, I know it's disgusting, but as for a good cause, now go control those redundant ghouls.
more of them. Something's not right. Just keep knocking on their doors until they answer, Captain. Let's move! but impressive. I think we're ready to end this hunt. The ghoul keeper hides in an infested cave. Stalk in, steal away his pets, and kill him. Let's go. 
tools are mine! However you poison them, I will suck it out! Babies are better off dead than in your thrall. We will avenge this version of our family. Hurry! He's out here! If you're still alive! One piece! You run that way.
This threat is over, Tor. All these foul Beastmaster war chiefs have met their end. We accomplished great things together, Captain. We certainly have our moments, Dwarf. You even managed to do all right around those ghouls. You know, Captain, I think I may have been too harsh on the little fiends. Those scampering monsters might not be so terrible after all. Can have their uses, at least. Will you look at that? You can grow a little. Even if it's only emotionally. Ooh, not your best, Talion. <laughs> well, I should be on my way. Blue Mountains are waiting. Safe journeys, my friend. Oh! <gasps> 